friends, it's Katrina Kennedy. Thanks for joining me. We are going to explore using Google Documents for virtual breakout rooms. One of the things I hear most is, how do I engage people? The other thing that I hear a lot is, we don't know what to do in breakout rooms. Well, we can use what we do in breakout rooms as a way to engage people because people are engaged when they're involved in the application of the objectives that we want them to do in the workplace. So what we practice in training is what we want them to do on the job. So we can use Google Documents to do that. And the easy way to do that, if I was in class, I would start by showing everyone what they can expect. So here's a Google document. This is a Google slide that I've set up. I'm going to walk them through a couple of things that they should notice that might surprise them if they've never used this before. First is that these little animals up here, we've got a manatee today and a hedgehog, those just represent everyone who's on a shared document because we all get to be on the same document same time. And then I'm also going to point out to them that there are multiple slides and those slides are numbered with their room numbers. So I'll invite them to go to the slide for their room number. We'll see everybody on the document same time and you'll be able to notice if they are on their slide. I'll show you that live in just a moment. Once I've given them a kind of a quick overview of what they can expect when they see the Google document, then I'm going to give them instructions for the actual activity. So I'll let them know to open the slide. I'm usually going to ask someone to be a facilitator so that somebody's driving the activity. Then they're going to go to their slide. They're going to write their objectives for their class, which we've covered in previous uh, content. And then they're going to have a, an example slide on the last slide. I always give them the time they, that is expected as well as where the link is going to show up because we're going to give them all a Google link that they're going to click on that's going to take them to the slide deck. So let me go ahead and show you what that live slide is going to look like. So when they use that link, they're going to be able to click through and pick the, the slide for their room. And as they're doing that, I'm going to be able to see their animal symbols on each of the slides. So if I don't have any animals showing up or if they're all on one slide like this, then I might want to give some more instructions so people know to move to their appropriate slide. It'll take them a minute, moment to, to move around, but you will eventually see everybody show up on their slide. I'm also going to always give an example slide. I like this so that they have a worked example that they can compare their own work to. The most important thing once you've set up the Google document or the Google slides to share is to actually share them. So we're going to come up here to the share button. And when you get there, you're going to see several options. So for down in general access, we're going to go to anyone with the link as our option. And we're going to want to make sure that they're the editor. Then I can copy the link and share that with everyone in class important that you take that step. Otherwise, no one will be able to access it. They don't need it to sign into Google. They don't need to have a Google account. It is an easy, quick way to get everybody working on the same document uh, uh, and at the same time. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have questions or I missed anything that you need to know about, please leave a comment so that I can get you the information you need. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.